Dear colleagues, this video shows the use of Holmium laser for stone fragmentation. This is our South German hospital in Jeddah. And this is our OR theater where we are doing our operations. Our case today is a female patient, 38 years old, presented to us with left flank pain. Urine analysis showed microscopic hematuria and serum creatinine was within normal levels. Blend X-ray of the urinary tract showed no radio-opaque shadows or stones along the urinary tract. Ultrasonography of the abdomen showed left mild hydronephrosis with a stone 1.3 cm at the upper ureter just below the pelvic ureteric junction. Intravenous urography showed normal right kidney. And left delayed nephrogram. The patient was diagnosed as having left upper urethral radiolucent stone for left ureteroscopy and stone manipulation. The patient was admitted medicated and under general anesthesia, cystoscopy was done and a guide wire was inserted to the lower ureter up to the left kidney. This is the bladder neck and this is the bladder and the ureteric orifice and the guide wire is inserted. Now we are dilating the ureteral orifice and now the ureteroscope is inserted and going up through the ureter to the upper ureter guided with the guide wire now this is the site of the stone and this is the forceps and we are trying to grasp the stone with the forceps this is the stone you can see the stone here and the forceps is trying to grasp the stone but it's difficult to pull the stone because of the stricture site below the stone. Now this is the dormia and we are trying to grasp the stone with the dormia preventing the stone from migrating up while we are migrate while we are fulgrating. Now this is the stone inside the dormia and our laser fiber now will start fragmentation. This is the laser fiber and this is the fragmentation of the stone with the laser. You can see the fragments of the stone within the dormia. Stone fragmentation. This is the laser fiber inside the stone. This is the dormia. Still fragmenting the stone with the laser fiber. The stone is getting smaller and smaller 
inside the dormia and eventually it will escape from the dormia. Still fragmenting the stones. You can see the fragments. Now the stone passed to the kidney. We are now inside the kidney and we are fragmenting the stone inside the renal pelvis. You can see the stone resting on the renal pelvis and you can see also the telecell opening behind the stones. The laser fiber is fragmenting the stone inside the renal pelvis. You can see the guide wire. And this is the wall of the rena pelvis and you can see this opening of the calices, one of the calices of the kidney. Of course this fragment is a small one but it's shown uh, large size because of the magnification of the lens of the ureteroscope. But we have to do our best to fragment the stones to a very small fragment as possible. Now the stone is fragmented completely. This is the guide wire passing to one of the calices. This is the laser fiber. Now this is the opening of another calices and now we are inside the renal pelvis. You can see opening of many calices here. Yes. So you can follow the stone until the renal pelvis or even up to the upper calyces and you can fragment it. Now this is the pelvic junction and now this is the upper ureter where the site of stone obstruction, the previous stone impaction. Now we are coming out of the ureter and you can see the fragments of the stones all over the wall of the ureter, very small fragments. The ureteroscope now is withdrawn and now we are out. Thank you.